Hey guys, I'm back again. My name is Shan. Today we'll be talking about um, Terraform modules. Um, so in last couple of videos, so we we talked about how what is Terraform, how to get started with Terraform on Windows, and then uh, yeah, how to how to we've created a lot of resources using Terraform on Azure. This particular video is is dedicated to uh, to talk about uh, modules on Terraform. What what role does it play? Um, while spinning up infrastructure, so let's let's talk about Terraform. Terraform is like usable, uh, usable piece of code um, which you can write once and use it again and again uh, for your environment. Uh, so just consider it as uh, functions in in your uh, programming language. So let's say you you create a function uh, and you create a function car which defines uh, like how many wheels it would have. How what what's going to be the color? Uh, what how is the mechanism going to work? What's going to be the engine size? So these parameter remain same for all the cars. So you define it once, and you use that function again and again while creating a new car. Just like uh, those function, we use module in Terraform. Uh, so it's like you create a module once and uh, you use it again and again to spin up uh, your infrastructure. Uh, so let's talk about uh, how do we create infra uh, uh, modules. What are the syntax which we use? Um, so we have a directory over here, and uh, I have created a module folder. And under mod module folder, I've defined a module.tf file. And uh, under the so there are th uh, three main uh, files which you need to consider while creating uh, your module. The main file where you define all your resources. Uh, components which you want to create uh, followed by an output file which would have an output once these resources are created and uh, a variable file where you, where you define all your variables um, if you don't understand these terminologies please watch my previous video which will give you a basic idea what are what are main files how to create definite create variables and create uh, resources using these variables all right. So the the syntax which we use to create a, a module is a module. That's the syntax name, and then a vm. Uh, then any reference name which you want to give, give. Source. So there are multiple source which you can use. Either you can use uh, uh, GitHub, you can use a local directory, uh, you can use a lot of uh, other uh, registry. So if we go to sources um, and so it's like we have uh, we have uh, we can you keep our keep our Terraform files in local files like the desktop which you're working on. You can create a pi private Terraform registry. Then you can create a GitHub account or you can keep it over there as well. You can create a Bitbucket. Um, if you have an Amazon S3 bucket, you can keep your modules over here as well. I have kept my modules on my local directory that is uh, modules and then you have a subfolder called Azure uh, PM. Uh, all right, so yeah, so for to have it, so if I just clear screen it. So I've logged into the module folder. Um, that's my root folder. That's why I've defined it as a dot. So I've put it as a dot, which means it it gets into the module folder, and then slash Azure VM. Azure VM is the folder name where Terraform gets all your uh, uh, main variable and uh, output files which I just showed you and then couple of variables which I haven't defined in my variable file so that I can uh, define it over here so I've already created a uh, few of the uh, resources which I'm using in this uh, particular video so I'm gonna destroy them first and then probably uh, create a Terraform uh, resources using those modules all right so I'll just type in yes so that it, it deletes us quickly so we'll wait for it to be deleted um, uh, which should be fairly quick All right, guys. So uh, the resources are deleted. Now we are good to create our Terraform resources using the module. We're just gonna type in Terraform inet. Okay. Uh, looks like there has been typo. Terraform inet. 
and you know, from get will give us the module name. So that's the module which uh, where we have defined all the sources. Uh, we're gonna run a Terraform plan, which should give us a synopsis what all resources is going to create. So it has eight resources. Uh, to name a few, these are network interface followed by the security group. Plus sign, it means it's going to create. Minus sign means it's going to delete. Um, we'll we'll plan. Uh, we plan this. Now we're going to apply. Um, we will hit. We'll come across an uh, an error which we won't be debugging in this particular session because this particular session is all about how to create. Uh, Terraform resources, uh, Azure resources using Terraform module. Type yes, and it should it should start creating these resources. Except one that's going to be virtual machine, but that's fine. The aim of this video is to understand uh, what is Terraform module, how to create it, what are the syntaxes, what are Terraform registry, how to fetch Terraform files from a source, and a lot of other things. All right, so we have we have an error, but uh, we have got all our resources created as well. So if we hit again Terraform plan, you will see that rest of the resources are created. We have only one resources which is not created. That's Azure Virtual Machine. So that's one to change instead of eight means rest of the seven resources has been created. All right, uh, that's that's pretty much all. Um, I hope you like the content. If you have, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, feel free to share your feedback uh, on the comments and i'll try to, uh, to get back to you uh, asap with with solutions thank you guys